Okay, I'm gonna read something here. I guess I shouldn't have my glasses. Read with my glasses off. So, read my glasses. Yeah, there you go. Black Agenda. As a specific group with a specific justice claim, the hashtag ADOS movement demands a specific agenda with policy prescriptions that address the losses stemming from the institution of slavery, Jim Crow, redlining, conviction leasing, convict leasing, uh, mass incarceration, and immigration. We demand a new deal for black America, which includes, but is not limited to here we go. We need a set we need set aside for American descendants of slavery, not minorities, that's quotes. A throwaway category which includes all groups except white men. That categorization has allowed Democrats to use programs like affirmative action as giveaways. That's giveaways also in quotes. To all groups in the exchange for votes. The bribery must end. That begins with a new designation on the census with ADOS, these are all in uppercase or capital letters if you will, and another for black immigrants. Black immigrants should be barred from accessing affirmative action and other census sites intended for ADOS, as should Asians, Latinos, white women, and other minority groups. In addition, ADOS hiring and employment data must be demanded for all businesses receiving tax credits, incentives, and government support, as well as all governmental agencies, national, state, and of course, local. It is our belief that this will show that there are minimal if any DOS professionals in fields including but not limited to engineering, medical, legal, tech, and on and on and on. Next point. Once affirmative action is streamlined as government programs only and specifically for ADOS, the program should be fully reinstituted. The Supreme Court decided wrongly when it gutted the Voting Rights Act as the Atlanta Journal Constitution article, this is in quotes, the name of the article, it's time to solve the mystery of the 100,000 mystery votes. That's the end of the quote. Indicates the protections outlined in the, civil, uh, in the, uh, in the Voting Act, Rights Act are essential to protecting the rights of ADOS in America. Reinstituting the protections of the Voting Rights Act is a key part of our agenda. Next point. Black businesses only receive 1.7% of the $23.09 billion, is a billion with a B, in total of the SBA loans under President Obama. Now, uh, under President Obama's SBA, SBA stands for Small Business Administration. After having previously received eight Point two percent. Went from eight point two down to one point seven. Under President George W. Bush, yes, that Bush. Proceeding as an entrepreneur, I'm sorry, mis mis misread here. Succeeding as an as an entrepreneur requires capital. Our agenda demands that 15% of SBA loans be distributed to ADOS businesses. Next point. We seek a multi-billion dollar infrastructure plan targeted to ADOS communities, including but not limited to the Black Belt, Flint, Michigan. Uh, a reader's examination uh, published in uh, 2016 found 3,000 cities with poisoning rates higher than Flint. Talking about the, uh, the lead and uh, the lead piping. Residents of majority ADOS areas that have been poisoned under the federal, local, and state government watch, state government's watch, so, um, um, 
such as not only Flint, Michigan, but Denmark, South Carolina, and others, must be financially compensated for the benign neglect of the Environmental Protection Agency and the government uh, in general. The Justice Department must also institute protections which exactly which exact heavy fines and, and uh, federal criminal prosecution for future offenders. Got to learn a lesson now, though. Next point. Mass incarceration has wreaked havoc on black American families. By some accounts, there are literally more than uh, more black males in prison than all women in, uh, that are incarcerated on the planet. I may repeat that just in case you didn't hear it. By some accounts, there are literally more black males in prison than all women are incarcerate are incarcerate incarcerated put in prison on the planet. To give it, uh, to give context, there are 20 million black males, and they are largely descent from slavery. While there are four billion women globally, okay? Both groups producing the same number of incarcerated. You have four billion group, you have a 20 million group, but yet and still the 20 million group is equal to the 40 million group, as far as, uh, rather the, 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 the four billion group as far as the number of folks in the uh, prison system. The, rep, uh, the reinvention of slavery through the use of the 13th Amendment is chronicled by Douglas Blackmon. That's B-L-A-C-K-M-O-N. In his PBS documentary, Slavery by Another Name. It is our position uh, that this must be corrected. We demand an immediate assessment of the numbers of the, A of the uh, uh, hashtag ADOS prison populations at the state and federal level. We also demand that there be a review if Punishment, uh, uh, you know, uh, like a, a bail amounts, a sentence a length of sentence, a sentence length, uh, amount of time served before prayer, is being levied at uh, unfairly high levels on a hashtag ADOS based on gender and race uh, for similar crimes to other groups. We, may, we demand that there be a real prison reform in the form of investment into counseling job training and rehabilitation for our incarcerated. Next point. Former President Ronald Reagan committed to, uh, quote, strengthen the capacity of historically black colleges and universities to provide quality education, end of the quote. In Executive Order 12320, that's uh, one, two, three, two, zero. President Obama undermined that commitment with charges uh, to the plus, I'm sorry, President Obama, who was not ADUS, by the way, because, you know, ADUS, he didn't have a lineage to slavery. President Obama undermined that commitment with changes to the plus loan requirements. We call for legislation to triple the current federal allotment for HBCUs, schools like Georgetown, built by slaves, have an endowment of over a billion dollars. This is a transfer of wealth from ADOS to whites. Our agenda demands that the federal government fully endow our remaining HBCUs in a dollar amount that meets the budgetary needs of each institution. In addition, ADOS students who attend HBCUs should receive a discount in the form of a 75% tax credit. Given that our inability to pay the rising cost of education is directly tied to the racial wealth gap coming from slavery. ADOS Who's, uh, who choose schools outside the HBCU network should receive a 50% government funded credit. Next point. Finding, uh, uh, findings published in USA Today concluded that top universities graduate ADOS in tech, 
but those graduates can't find jobs in Silicon Valley. And I'm assuming they're using, Sil using Silicon Valley as a like a, an overall catching for for the uh, you know the tech industry. Only two percent of technology workers at seven Silicon Valley companies are black, according to the report, and many of those are black immigrants, not ADOS. And according to a study by Rutgers professor Hal Sussman, Rutgers my alma mater, American colleges graduate more tech workers than tech companies need. Hence, the H uh, the H one now, dash B program uh, reduces opportunities for ADOS searching for careers in technology. The government must strictly limit the number of H-1B visa workers, tech companies, to flow uh, that flow in uh, that flow in each year. They're coming each year. Next point. Order the banks to see if there are patterns of racial discrimination in lending and require these banks to extend loans to ADOS businesses. These banks receive bailout from taxpayers and owe a debt to all taxpayers, regardless of race. Uh, regardless of race. In addition, banks such as Wells Fargo use predatory schemes historically, not just during the Great Recession, to eviscerate black wealth. Uh, lending, uh, uh, black wealth, uh, uh, black wealth. lending to businesses, lending to black businesses and institutions should be a beginning for banks to redress the harm they've caused to the ADOS community. Are we on the last page, page three? Last points. Mandate that the government's advertising budget include black media. There is no ADOS community without our own media. Got to tell our own stories, report our own stories. Incentivized through legislative action that all major companies uh, spend 10% of their advertising budget with ADOS media in exchange for tax credits. It's almost like the, um, uh, the cable industry when they have a C-SPAN. C-SPAN is funded by, uh, no, no, you, you figure it out. In addition, mandate that percent ten percent of governmental advertising for governmental agencies, armed forces, and other auxiliary programs to uh, uh, to major ADOS owned media and companies. So we get them them bucks from those, you know, um, people that prey off us. Uh, ADOS next point. ADOS college debt should be forgiven in the same way losses are forgiven for the banks <laughs> on Wall Street. You know, also just euphemism all banks in the world. You know, anything that comes from that, uh, what, uh, Federal Reserve or whatever they, however they, they shaft us. Those executives, those executives oversaw the evaporation of billions in global wealth. ADOS graduates brought into the air, into the air, brought, uh, ADOS graduates brought into the idea that, uh, uh, that the key to success in life was an education and there was a place for us in America only to find that after graduation that we were locked out. We can't afford to bear the burden of a lie. You lied. You lied. Got to deal with that lie. Next point. The health care credit to pay for medical coverage for all ADOS so we need a health care credit to pay for all medical coverage, ADOS. That's, up, that's above and beyond Medicare for all. Okay, you understand? No, I'm getting into that right now. This would cover surgery, pharmaceutical, and counseling needs. As an example, we would like to see a lineage ther we would like to see a lineage therapy whereby hashtag ADOS leadership in cooperation with licensed therapists and psychiatrists develop a therapy curriculum to help members of the ADOS understand and manage their ancestral trauma. This therapy should come at no cost to ADOS community. Now, you know, uh, uh, psychology and all the rest of that stuff. You know, get out here. Psychology, was, uh, we have so many great psychologists you know, in, uh, in the tradition, like from Amos Wilson on to whoever's around today, or before Amos. 
coming to the end. Here we go. Last point. America has never atoned for its original sin of slavery in the form of reparations. It is our position that um, this is a Cong congressional bill, congressional bill number HR40 be passed. Let me stop right here. My uh, my congressman Bobby uh, Bobby Scott, Virginia. He's not signed on. He hasn't he hasn't uh, signed on to his HR40 bill. I looked it up. I think that. Every single person in Congress, all these people, it doesn't matter who you are, you need to sign on to this bill HR 40 now. Can't even talk to you unless you sign on HR 40. If you run up, oh, all the all the all, all the candidates, well, not the senatorial candidates, but all the, congr the, the con congressional candidates must sign for, for president. They must sign on, or they must. Or people must indicate that they support the, this this HR 40, which is a research bill. But let me keep on going. It is our position that HR 40 be passed and additional supportive measures be implemented. We need to gather the data on the level of wealth that, is, that was lost in a direct result of slavery and the era of Jim Crow that followed. In the paper, uh, in the paper 40 Acres and a Mule in the 21st Century, economist San, Sandy Darity of Duke University, Darity spelled D-A-R-I-T-Y, Sandy, S-A-N-D-Y, of Duke University assess uh, the value today as if we also take a conservative estimate of uh, the total number of ex-slaves who had attained emancipation at the close of the Civil War as 4 million persons. 40 million acres of land valued at 400 uh, million should have been distributed to the ex-slaves um, in, in uh, 1865. Okay. The present value of that sum of money compounded from 1865 at 6%, 5% for interest uh, and earned, and 1% as the inflation adjustment, would amount to more than $1.3 trillion. Show you with a T. There are, uh, there are approximately 30 million descendants of, of enslaved Africans in the United States today. The estimate, of, uh, uh, the estimate based on 40 acres yields an allotment of slightly over $400,000 per recipient. Hashtag ADOS demands that there be a re real review of direct payouts needed to be made to eligible recip recipients from gathered data and progress be made towards making hashtag ADOS families whole. This is the end here. Without these measures being instituted, ADOS are locked out of the country our ancestors built during chattel slavery. Without reforms, through transformative government, we will be left to continue living a third world life in a first world country. But let, let me do my little uh, Yvette Cornell interpretation. Well, that's the end of it. That's the, that's the whole uh, demands from uh, the, uh, the uh, American descendants of, of, uh, of slavery. But let me do my little Yvette comment for this last one. Look, if you haven't heard, if you haven't pl paid any attention to the entire, to this, look, if you just remember one thing, one thing what I'm saying, listen to this, without these measures instituted, ADOS are locked out, they can be locked out of the country of our, that our ancestors built during chattel slavery. Now listen, let, let, uh, hold on, I'm, 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 let me just make this point, hold on, hold on. Without reforms through in transformative government, we will be left to continue living, here we go, here we go, here we go, a third world life in a first world country. So this is from, uh, you know, the uh, website, the uh, hashtag, uh, not hashtag, uh, AGOS101. Uh, uh, like history one, AUS 101, learning uh, uh, the, the, the American 
descendant of, of slaves, the American slave uh, position from the, from, the, from the beginning. It's, uh, uh, it's written, well, it doesn't say up here, but you know, the people that, that put together the whole ADUS, uh, they say movement, I, I say reality. The whole ADUS reality um, is birth and continues to be developed by Yvette Cornell and Antonio Moore. And this is what they say. Thank you for listening to this because now I hope this clears up for anybody who needs to know what ADOS is. It's on the website and you'll, you'll understand later. Anyway, that's, uh, that's it for me. T from the Pattersons taking a train to Tibet that you know. Not only suspect. Actually, letting you know what, what I just read, actually.